Hi everyone, it's Mary Blocker from Mary's Card Cafe and you are joining me for another Stamp Set Spotlight. And I am thrilled to share with you this beautiful bundle called Art Gallery. It comes with a beautiful set of dies as you can see. A couple of my favorites are right here. It's the scalloped um, edges that fit perfectly with each of these greetings. So it's perfect, um, has the perfect size. And then what's really great is when you cut your cardstock down for like card bases, you know how you're always left with like that quarter inch strip? Well, it is the perfect layering for this. <laughs> so let me show you a little bit before I share some of the projects with you today. The Art Gallery Bundle is here on page 34 of the January to June Mini Catalog. And there you go, seeing those wonderful scalloped um, dies. But I want to show you that this bundle is part of the Fl Fine Art Floral Suite. Say that five times fast. Fine Art Floral Suite of products. And just look at all of this floral, you guys. Now, if we take a look on this page, we have the beautiful Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper, which is stunning. I'm gonna highlight that a little bit today. You also have a new product, you guys. You have the Heat and Stick, which is an oldie, but a goodie, and it's returning. The Heat and Stick powder and this gilded leafing embellishment. I'm gonna be using that with you today to show you how it works and to also then show you what you need to do once you open your container because you will unleash the Kraken when you open that. I had to say that, you guys, because our new uh, team is called the Seattle Kraken. So we are very excited about that. It's a hockey team. So I am gonna be sharing you some cards today that some fellow demonstrators made that are just wonderful and then we're gonna do a card together. So what do you say we get started with that? All right, so let's take a look at some cards. This beautiful card was made by Caitlin Holmes and she's using the beautiful embossing folder that's included in that. It is called the do, 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 Painted Textured 3D Embossing Folder and you'll see why when you take a look at this card right here in the purples. This one is dubbed by Sherry Clark and you can see how that looks like uh, painted strokes, doesn't it? It's just amazing. So these are two very pretty ones. You can see the florals that are included. Now this particular die, you can stamp it once and take it through the die cutting machine and you do it in green and get all of the greenery. Then you put it through again and die cut and you get then your flowers when you put it through a second time in purple. And so um, you can change up and do all sorts of fun things. So there's two beautiful cards. Here's another one really focusing on that main flower. It is a two-step stamp set and that just means that you have that layer over top and so when you put that second stamp on top it looks like you painted, you watercolored, you spent so much time and it's just stunning and you really didn't do much work at all. There again is our scalloped edging, the painted textured embossing folder and then using some of the laser cut gold um, embellishments that are found in the annual catalog. Here's one using some of that beautiful um, garden acetate paper, acetate, it's not paper, it's just beautiful. And then here, it's be really nice, was um, stamped in Blackberry Bliss and then clear embossing powder on top to give it that sheen. And then this one is a fun fold. Isn't that pretty? Um, and I don't have the tag on that one to know who it, it was. This one is Tina Munsky, and she is showing you those dies. And it looks like when you look at the dies, it's all one piece right here, but they cut out each word individually. And so that's nice layers on that one. And then here we are, you guys. This is a project we're going to do together today. I designed this as a fun fold card, as you can see it. It's a trifold or a bifold, whatever you want to call it, but it opens up this way. It could, if you wanted to, have a card that opened up that way, but it's this way today. And I'm going to show you how I did my gold leafing. And there's our beautiful um, scalloped edged greeting with that strip of excess cardstock that you always have. And you get piles of it. Now you have some uses for it. So let's go ahead and let's get started with our card. I'm going to need my cutter here, my stamping cutter, and 
all the paper that we have today. So here I have a piece of four and a quarter by 11. I have a piece of five, um, five and a quarter by four for the inside of the card. I then have two pieces of this beautiful designer series paper, <laughs> the fine arts paper, designer series paper, that's cut at two and a half by four. And you'll see why in a minute. And then I have my layering pieces here, which, oh, I apologize, I don't remember what I cut these at. Three by four and a quarter for the bumblebee. And then this is gonna be four by um, two and three quarters, just a quarter inch smaller in layers. Now for our base of our card, for our fold that we're going to have, we are going to go ahead and score at two and a, two and, let me get this right, <laughs> two and three quarters, two and three quarters, and then I could just open up the arm and have a slide down, but I'm just going to turn it around and score at two and three quarters again. Easier to remember just two and three quarters and two and three quarters, right? just by turning that paper around. That way you don't have to mess with the arm on the cutter. You know, make it easy on ourselves. Okay, so now I've got my base of my card and you can see now it meets at the center. And now you have a whole world of creativity you could do. Cards opening this way, but we're gonna go this way today. Just make sure I am pressed down well there. The first thing I'm gonna do is to adhere my paper panels to the front. Do I want it like that or do I want it like this? Mm, I'm gonna go like this. So pretty, it doesn't really matter which way you have the flowers go. And I actually could match up the top and the bottom because I did do this from the same sheet of designer series paper. That, or do I like that? Hmm, I think I like this. I like that greenery in the bottom right corner. Now what I wanna do is I wanna try to make sure I line up the top edge and the side edges so it's a seamless coming right down and evened up. There we go. Now that'll be for our inside. We'll set that aside. Here comes the fun part, you guys. So the gilded leafing, oh my goodness, the gilded leafing, you guys. All right, I want to be a surprise to you. I am going to be giving one lucky winner a package of the heat and stick and a package of the gilded leafing embellishment. You can win this from me. All you have to do is make a comment below. Tell me what you really liked about my card. Subscribe if you would, share if you would, and click that bell so you can get my videos notified when I'm, I load them. Um, but I'm gonna give that away. I'm going to say, hmm, through this next week, to go ahead and comment on my video, tell me what you liked, and then subscribe if you would, share if you would, ding that bell if you would. <laughs> I wanna get to a thousand subscribers so I can have a big, huge, uh, subscriber bash but wouldn't you love to win them? so I'm going to go ahead and stamp my leaf it is beautiful I'm doing that in pear pizzazz and then I'm going to use um, flirty flamingo for the base of the flower the base of the flower is the one that has the least amount of details in it so I'm gonna ink that up really good. Come on over to my flower. Try to tilt it because I don't want too much of that leaf to get covered. Press down really good. And look how pretty that is. I mean, that flower is just so pretty. Now I grabbed Melon Mambo, which is not the color I want. <laughs> Let me grab the Poppy Parade, you guys. Oh my goodness. That would just be way too, too, too bold and bright. And I don't know if it really would match the flirty flamingo too well. So let me grab my poppy parade here. Oh, sorry, I've got to... Now, the top layer of the flower you can see is this one here. See how there's a lot of cutout pieces? 
There's much more detail on this one. So I'm gonna ink this up really, really good. I need a refill of my Poppy Parade like crazy. And now basically I'm just gonna line right up over top. I'm sorry, I need to, if my head's in the way, I just need to make sure I'm where I want to be. And there we go, look how pretty that is. Isn't that great? Now, when I do this here, one of the things I need to do is I've got to clear off my second layer here because we are going to be using that gilded leafing. Whoops. Sorry, you guys, I got sticky on my board. So let me just bring the card back to you right now to show you that you can see the gilded leafing here. That's on that second layer of the flower. And I need to get that by using Versamark the heat and stick, and then the um, gold, um, the gilded leafing. Now I wanna just show you something. I'm gonna put that there. <laughs> and I want you to look at that carefully. Um, that is in a big, big bowl. And let me just move it a little. And I'm gonna pick it up and it's like I'm, I'm holding a cloud. The other thing though, notice it's sticking to my hand. It is very staticky. So once you open up your package of this gilded leafing right here, when you open it up, it is gonna come poof out. It's gonna static, it's gonna stick. You want to have a large container that you can open it up and pour into. Now that bowl doesn't have a lid, so I'm gonna have to transfer it to something with a lid, but that's just um, an FYI for you to know. <laughs> oh, don't even look at my Versamark pad. I don't even know how this guy got so horrid, but it's all right, still has it sticky. So I'm gonna ink up that second layer again, and this time I'm gonna go right back over the top and I'm gonna press down. And then lift off. Now I have my sticky. Now the thing about the heat and stick powder, you guys, is that you don't wanna heat this like you would embossing, regular embossing powder. Regular embossing powder is a metal that will melt, and sometimes it takes a little bit longer and you hold it there a long time. With the heat and stick powder, you basically want to just get it um, to change from that powder to that sticky. And so it will not take as long as regular embossing powder, and you do not want to heat it too long because you will actually burn it and take off the sticky. Now. What are you going to do if you take off the sticky? So I'm just going to hold this, see how it's turning, and I'm just going to move right away from it. You can see how that poppy parade is coming back out. That's it. I don't want to hold it over it more than that. Maybe right there. That's it. <laughs> Maybe right there? Nope. There it is. Now I'm going to take some of my gold leafing, just like this, I'm going to put it over the top of it. And now, you guys, I'm just going to rub. And I'm rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And what I'm doing, basically, is just pressing that gold gilded leafing right into the heat and stick powder. There we are. Now, if I feel like I have a little bit too much there, I can just rub a little harder right there. I can add some more back in if I want. It'll go right back over onto it. Because when you rub it off, you still have that little sticky part there. So you can kind of do even more. So now I have all of that on there. It is going to be there and it's staying. It's not going to come off. Of course, I do have this, <laughs> this bit of heat and stick. Uh, not heat and stick, but the gilded leafing. I'm going to just drag off and put back in my container. It kind of floats around. So there we are, you guys. That was as easy peasy heat and stick that you needed to do. Just like that. So now, to get the rest of my card, I'm simply going to glue this together here. Whoop, let me get my adhesive back to the front. Every once in a while, you break that little string of adhesive. Then you just have to turn it to come back up to you. We'll get that there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this here and I'm going to use dimensionals. 
So I need to make sure that my dimensionals are not too low. I don't want them to get caught on the bottom, the bottom panel here. So let's hope I did a good job. We'll see. See if I need to change anything. So I'm gonna come over here and see. I think I'm pretty good. And I just adhere that down like so. And now my card is going just dandy. So I'm gonna use a bit of my Baker's Twine here. And I am going to wrap around a couple of times. And I'm gonna start this way. You'll see my madness. I want enough that I can do a bow. So I'm gonna just hold it here. And now I'm gonna take it and wrap around the card. I know this is a little strange. I'm gonna wrap around two times. There we go. Oh, what a mess I'm making. And now I'm gonna come over. How much I need to make a my ribbon scissors here. I want to have enough to make a bow. So I think that will work. I'll go ahead and do that. What I want to show you, one of the things that I do when I make a bow is I take the knot, then I kind of hold the knot and I turn it upside down. I just twist it upside down and then I make my bow. I find that when I do that, my bow will be facing the correct direction. And making bows with Baker's twine is not the easiest thing. Sometimes the, the bows twist up. But see how my bow is sitting correctly? That just always works out well. I just turn it upside down. There we go. And what I'm gonna end up doing is probably putting a glue dot right there because what'll happen is that Baker's Twine want, likes to kind of sag over. So I probably will do that. Okay, now you guys, I have my greeting and I already stamped out my greeting and I already die cut it out <laughs> because my heat and stick was my focus. I didn't want you to be have to be with me too long. So I just went ahead and stamped my greeting, die cut it out with that wonderful scallop die. And then this was my quarter inch strip. Can you believe it? All I had to do was clip the right length that I needed. Awesome. Just, oh, now I know what I can do with all of my scraps. Okay, so I'm going to come in. I want this tucked a little bit. I'm thinking of you. It's going to go across like that. There we go. Look how cute that is. I just love that. I'll get that glued out on that bow. Now on the inside, I thought it would be fun to do that other, other flower that's in the stamp set. And I know it has, I know it has the greenery too, but I thought, you know what? Wouldn't it look kind of cute just peeking out from that corner? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on the other side of this. I'm going to go ahead and take that stem off because that just confuses me. And I think I'm going to use the, the 30 Flamingo. Just lightly. Let's move this out of the way. And then I think I'm just going to have it peek out like right here. There. Look how sweet that is. Now the greeting on this card says, I'm thinking of you. It says, I miss you. Happy birthday, good luck. I think I'm gonna have to do the miss you inside. I'd really like to send a card back home to my niece. Um, she lost both her parents in this last year. Just um, one after the other and just so, so sad. Um, her, her father had a, a really aggressive dementia. There we go. And um, it just was just so hard for a couple years. He passed, and then my sister, who's been battling lots of things for years and years and years, it was kind of a surprise, actually, um, when she became really ill and lost her life. Um, so it's just oh, a sad thing. But... This would be wonderful. So I'm gonna put the I miss you inside. Let me 
find it. I miss you. I don't think that one says miss, I miss you. I think that one says thank you. This one, they're so hard to see. Best wishes, sorry, miss you. There it is. I miss you. So let's put that on a block. I'll just grab this one. I'll take this flower off. And what am I gonna stamp this in? Well, I usually would use, and I think I need to, I need to use the memento ink right here because the I'm thinking of you has that. So let's do that. Move that stamp set aside. My goodness, I'm making a mess. Oh, that memento ink did not wanna let go. So I miss you. And I'm gonna come here on my mat first because I have not used that saying before. And sometimes there's residue. I miss you. So I'm thinking of you and I miss you. Oh, that was so fun. I love that gilded leafing embellishment. I, I, I like that I did this different fold of a card. I generally don't do that. I'm kind of a, um, I don't know, traditionalist, I guess you would say, on card making. I kind of just like my basic cards, but I decided to get a little bit out of my comfort zone and do something a little more fun like that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Here's my original card. And you can see my bow over here. I've got that glue dotted down, and I'll get that on this one too. Um, so it's, it's secured down. There are so many wonderful things that you can do with the um, fine art gallery. I just think this flower, the main flower, is just so beautiful. You can do so many things. Now remember, you guys, if you want to win the gilded leafing embellishment and the heat and stick powder, I want to let you know. They are back ordered right now and you can't get these. So during this week through January 15, make a comment on this video, tell me what you really liked and um, go ahead and share if you would. Subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos when they post. And I appreciate so much that you came to see my video today with my stamp set spotlight and that I could share the, the gilded leafing and how to use it. I really appreciate you guys. I wanna tell you that um, I'm thinking of everyone and hoping your lives are doing well. I know it's a, just a trying time, but uh, trust in God, he's there for us. And like I always say, until next time guys, happy stamping.